remote control. Something up. <laughs> well, it's the oddest thing, Murchison. But I've been told that if I want to stay fit, I have to walk at least ten miles a day. Ten miles? Hmm. But you've always been as fit as a flea control. Or a fiddle, at any way. One of the fittest men in the service you've been occasionally referred to as. <laughs> have a look at this, then, Tony. What is it? Well, that's what I asked myself when the doctor gave it to me. And then I asked the doctor. <laughs> and he said, it's a pedometer. A pedometer? Yes. It measures how many miles I walk. Come on. <laughs> Mrs. Control is jolly careful to make sure I put it on every day, worse luck. <laughs> Still, I suppose she only has your best interests at heart. That's true. I shouldn't grumble. After all, Tony... Control? She's only being so quite firm about it for my own good. Mm. <laughs> Any golly way, I think that's enough for one morning. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't come here to listen to my woes. Oh, I don't know. They're quite interesting woes. <laughs> what does bring you to the seventh floor, Tony? Well, Control, do you remember the minister asking us to jolly well hurry up and find out who was behind these bombs that have been going off in government departments of lately? <laughs> yes, indeed, I do remember. An urgent A1 top priority investigation was called for, as I remember. There was to be telephone tapping, surveillance, everything, and no limit on the budget. The minister said, I want you to pull all the stops out on this one, Control, if you'd be so kind. <laughs> Yes, it was quite a to-do. Hmm. As I recall, Tony, I put you in charge of that investigation. Is that right? Yes, you splendidly did. Hmm. <laughs> well, have you come up with something that might be regarded as a clue or, better still, concrete evidence that might lead to some arrests? <laughs> yes, well, that's really the reason I popped in and surprised you at your walking control, because <laughs> I just had a report from Commander Henderson of Special Branch. That's the Scotland Yard branch that was set up specifically to deal with subversion and counterinsurgency earlier this century? That's the exact one. Oh. I imagine quite strongly it might be. Yes. Well, they say that with some of our agents working undercover alongside them, they've managed to arrest a cell of men and women who they think they can prove are responsible for the whole sorry wave of unfortunate and exasperating bomb attacks. It was a sorry wave, wasn't it? Yes, it certainly was. <laughs> well... This is good news, I must say. I thought you'd be pleased. I am. Most pleased. Well done, Tony. Full marks. <laughs> Calls for a coffee, wouldn't you say? <laughs> it most certainly does. I'll fetch you one. No, Tony. I'll fetch you one. It's my turn. Well, goodness <laughs> control. Thank you. No, thank you, Tony. White no sugar, I think it is. That's exactly right. This really is excessively kind of you, Control. Not at all, Tony. And besides, the extra walk will impress Mrs. Control. <laughs> oh, you! Back in a mo. Bye. <laughs>